the way that it works is you just simply await step dot do, um, <laughs> and you can sleep it for however long you want. So you could say send CJ an email, wait for two years, <laughs> and then after two years, like you're you're literally awaiting two years, and then you could come back after the next line will run in two years from now. All of your memory will be reinstated. All of your variables. It's pretty wild because there, there was like a whole startups dedicated to to running code like this, where you could simply just like sleep a function and then you could start it up in in a little while. This is wild to me that it's so easy for this this type of thing. Even like something if you have you have rate limits, mm. I need to loop over this list of. 10 files and I need to search for each one, but I can only do one per minute. You know, you could just do a for loop and inside the for loop, you could wait one minute. And then in that case, you're not waiting. If it takes five seconds to do each one, you're only doing 25 seconds instead of 10 minutes of, of tied up CPU time. 